All right, let's learn about adding clay to clay. So in this step, um, you are going to learn how to attach clay and there's a little bit involved in that. <clears throat> um, so I have my tile here. Um, I showed you earlier how to roll that out using the thicker sticks. Um, so now that I have a nice tile, I've kind of cleaned up the edges just a little bit, kind of rubbing them. Um, now I'm ready to place kind of my design very roughly on my tile. So when I say place it, I mean kind of sketch it on there. I just did something super quick, so it's not my best work or anything. It's, it may be even hard to see, but I just used a pencil or a back of a paintbrush and just made some marks of where I think things should be placed. Please remember that these lines here and here are simply grid lines. They are not gonna be used or shown in your actual tile. So it is important that while your clay is still wet, you are going to kind of erase those and it's very easy to do. Okay, so I can just rub on there. Um, I don't really have to do that at this moment um, because I'm gonna be adding to the surface and actually covering up some of those areas, okay? So once I add my pieces, then I can determine if I need to um, erase the areas around it, okay? All right, so I just wanted to show you some examples of how I made various forms um, on these tiles that are right here in front of us. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna show my sketch again. Because now that you have this wonderful sketch, you have to really think about how the 2D sketch can be turned into 3D form. And really any interpretation um, can work. So like for me, this, I wanted to stand out most, so I wanted it to be taller, and I wanted it to have a lot of texture, okay? But I could have done this in a different way. I could have had like larger ball pieces um, rather than all these little tiny ones. Instead of these here, maybe they um, lay f a little bit flatter on the page and just flare up at the bottom, or maybe they curve downward, okay, instead of kind of fan out. So really, before you get started, look at your sketch, think about, okay, how am I gonna um, replicate this in 3D form? Another thing you need to think about is what is going to be additive work and what is going to be subtractive. So additive is what I'm gonna show you today. It's the first step you do in the process because you want your clay to be wet. The subtraction, meaning you carve away, cut away, take away clay from the surface, uh, surface actually happens um, at a little bit of a drier stage. So you have to let your clay dry in order to make these really nice clean lines. If it's too wet, it's not gonna work well. Okay, so in terms of this piece right here, I just wanted to show you, I have a ball. Um, this is pretty thick, especially if I attach it to here, I'm looking at like an inch and a half thick. If you want something that is three dimensional like that, that this large, I would say an inch or larger, it needs to be hollowed out. The reason being, it will blow up in the kiln, okay? You do not um, want that to happen. So what I did here, I still have a ball, but if you look at the back, it's actually hollowed out. This is what's called a pinch pot. This is a mini one. We will get to pinch pots at our, for our next project. But basically, all I did was I pushed my finger Okay, inward and then I took my hands kind of made a pinching hand and just squeezed around okay and I kept doing it until I got um, the wall thickness where I wanted to be um, so that it's not too thick okay so I have that all right 
going to go over some other things here in a moment, but I'm going to show you some of these forms that I have made. So when you are attaching more of like flatter work, so slabs, or you just want to start with like a slab, just like our tiles, instead of using our thick boards that we use to roll out our tile, I have these thinner ones and it's going to be better for adding on the clay. Okay. There is, there is um, some circumstances where you might want to use a thicker um, clay piece. Okay, so all I did is I rolled this out. I took a little um, knife in my clay bin and I cut out this shape. And then I cut out this mini one. Okay, so this kind of shape you can see. Um, let me see. This kind of shape you can see in various spots on my piece. So like something like this, um, you might see. What I wanted is a little bit of a thinner edge. So once I rolled that shape out, I just pinched the edge um, and made that look maybe, I guess, a little bit more elegant. And then what I could do is I can curve it, okay, if I want it to stand up. I can make it so it um, is popped up right here. It has some negative space happening underneath it. So that's that. A little mini pinch pot. You can see here I made the same thing. Very simple. I wanted it to kind of face up and be a bowl. And then all I did for the texture is I used the back of a tool and just kind of pressed that in there before I added it. That can also be done at a later stage, okay? All right, so these, these are little pieces. Um, so like right here, you can see some, um, and right here, you can see some that are laying flatter. This is considered a coil. So when you start with a piece of clay, you can roll it in your hands. I wanted mine to be skinnier at the top and thicker at the bottom. So what I did was I just rolled the clay a little bit more here at the top and I did pat it on the table to kind of give me a nice little bottom edge there, okay? And then I can stick it on. Um, for this piece right here, I added a bunch of little kind of clay beads all the way around it. Um, so there's lots of different things you can do. Another thing you can do with a coil, and an example like here and here, um, kind of have a lot of these actually, here, here, here. You can take your coil, okay, and you can start to just pinch it. So this coil was all the same height. And I'm just kind of pinching up, and what I did was I just curved it around and kind of stood it up, all right? So let me show you how to attach the clay. This is like, you know, the main thing that I'm teaching you right now. Okay, so everybody in their bins has at least two to three scoring tools. This is called a scoring tool. It's like a, a rake, okay? And it, um, the prongs on it are pretty stiff and that's what you want. So I am going to attach this piece. I am going to scratch the clay. Okay, you want it to kind of look messy. Um, once I do that, then I'm gonna be adding what's called slip. All that slip is, is clay and water, okay? It's kind of gushy and mushy, but it's like the glue for clay, okay? If you don't do these steps, things can pop off in the kiln. And don't just test that because you think, oh, that's not gonna happen. Um, and it might seem like it's sticking all good, and then when it comes out of the kiln, um, it has popped off, okay? It happens every year. So I have that. Um, I am gonna scratch just a little bit on my tile, and I simply dipped my tool in the slip container just so I got a little bit of slip on there. And then when I put this on here, I'm just not gonna like, okay, it's done. What I, what I wanna do is kind of wiggle it um, to get it to suction to the clay. You can also use a small, you can also use a small wooden tool. Let me grab one. 
And this is for blending the sides. So you can take that tool and just go right on the edge and blend it. Some of my students like to add like a thin coil and that could be just interesting in general to add a coil around that, give it another design quality. Okay, so there's space inside of here. Um, that has created a large air bubble now that I have done that. You need to make sure that anything that is hollow and there's not um, any way for the air to escape, you have to poke a hole in it, okay? So what I would do at this point, I could do it on top, but I don't want it to be shown. So I'm gonna turn it over in the back. It doesn't have to look like anything special. And um, I'm just gonna poke a hole through it. It doesn't have to be big, it can be just that small, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go over much more. I think you guys uh, can do this. It's you know practice and kind of playing around with some shapes and what you can do with clay. So practice that before you go ahead and just start like sticking everything on here. All right, can't wait to see what you guys make.